Yo, what is good, everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. We're talking the Steelers 53 man roster. They just dropped it today, along with the cuts that they made to get it to that point. So we'll react, give our surprises. We'll go like position by position and just give our takes on it. So we got quarterback, receiver, tight end, fullback. Those four positions, I don't think anyone's surprised by that. Quarterback, we kept Ben, Mason, Haskins, Josh Dobbs got designated to IR or reserve list. I think he's actually out for the season, but I'm not surprised with the three quarterbacks that we kept. I don't think anyone is. Receiver, we got Juju, Deontay, Ray Ray McLeod, James Washington, and Claypool. No surprises there. Tight end, Frymouth, Ebron, and then Zach Gentry, we kept over Radar. I don't think that's a surprise. And then fullback, Derek Watt. Look out for the TJ Watt extension coming in the next couple of days. So first position where there were some pri some surprises in my opinion, and that was offensive line. One, we only kept eight. And then the four cuts that we made, Rashad Coward, BJ Finney, Chaz Green, and LeGlue. I don't even know LeGlue's first name. Is it John? But out of those four, I was actually pretty surprised by Rashad Coward and B.J. Finney. Finney, because he was with the Steelers, I thought he provided some decent depth at center and guard, flexible. And then Rashad Coward, with all those dots and reports and stuff a couple weeks back, whenever he was just getting back up to speed in training camp, Coward was starting at left guard, and by all accounts, he was impressing. Not impressing to the degree that he was better than Dotson, but that I at least thought he'd make the roster and think that he started that second preseason game now we're up to this point where he's cut from the roster we've seen that from a few players this preseason man like Arthur Millette he's gone Antoine Brooks so yeah I was surprised by those two and just the fact that we kept eight I went back to an old archive of our depth chart back in like 2017 just to see how many offensive linemen we kept we kept nine at that point and to think of how concerned we are about the offensive line this season I just would have thought we would have kept a little bit more than eight, but maybe it's the lack of quality depth versus back in 2017. We had some really good depth players that ended up either starting for us like Matt Flyler playing elsewhere. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's another move to be made. I thought Joe Haig, he made the roster. I thought he was going to be cut from the start. But I guess since he's offensive tackle, I think it's one of those Trey Norwood, Miles Killebrew situations where just because they're listed at safety, they get a heads up or a nod up against everyone else because we lack so much depth at those positions. And with offensive tackle, he's the fourth, and offensive tackle is a little bit more important than the guard position. So maybe that's why he made the roster, also because he has that championship pedigree. But yeah, that's offensive line. Was surprised by Rashad Coward and B.J. Finney, and that we kept eight, but maybe there's another move down the line. Defensive line, we did not cut anyone. All the defensive linemen, I thought, did pretty good this preseason. It's not like we sat back and said, this guy in particular deserves to get cut. Like, they suck. They all played pretty solid. We just thought maybe one or two of them would get cut because of how many dudes that we have. I'm guessing we kept everyone because of Stefan Tuitt. We don't know what his status is going to be early in the season. So they're going to keep as many guys as possible, maybe to work rotations, see what the right fits are on the defensive line. But that's my guess. I'm just surprised we kept everyone, that maybe one or two of the guys weren't cut. I wouldn't have been surprised by like Mondo. But I don't know. Who do you cut then next? Bugs, Wormley, Davis? I thought they all did kind of decent, deserved to be on the roster. So... Yeah, that's the defensive line. Inside linebacker, I was pretty surprised that we kept Ulysses Gilbert the third. I don't really see him getting on the field at all. You got to think we just drafted Buddy Johnson, so I don't really sure what their reasoning was behind that because we kept a lot of guys. I think we kept six. We have Schobert, Bush, Spillane, Marcus Allen, Buddy Johnson, and Ulysses Gilbert. I was on the fence about Spillane making it, but I'm just guessing the Steelers trust him more at inside linebacker three versus anyone else at this point. I don't expect him to see the field that much with us getting Schobert and Bush in there. And then we'll have to just see about Marcus Allen's injury. I don't know how much playing time he's going to be getting early on, though. It's mainly for the inside linebacker position. It's going to be all on Schobert and Bush, at least for this season. That's why I'm a little surprised we kept six. UG3 would have been the one I thought we would have cut. Maybe Spillane, but like I said, what he did with us last year us having a little bit more high hopes on him coming into this season. 
maybe there's that trust that we just wanted to keep him on, have him as the inside linebacker three. Outside linebacker, Jameer Jones, well-deserved, making the roster. Cassius Marsh, not surprised that he got cut. Roche, I got to assume he's going to be on the practice squad. Watson, I'm not surprised we cut him either. I don't know if he's going to land on the practice squad or not. But for outside linebacker, I think we all saw this happening. The question was, would we keep a fifth guy like Roche or Marsh over another position? And we kept six inside linebackers. We kept a lot on the defensive line. So that was your answer right there. Cornerback. The one position we were talking all offseason about with depth, position battles, slot corners, who's cornerback four, five, all this and that. We only keep four, but they are our best four. I'm just surprised we didn't keep a slot outside of Sutton. Like I thought Millette was probably going to make the roster just by default. But you got to assume, you got to be thinking in the back of your mind, there's some type of move. There's Desmond Trufant out there now, Jimmy Moreland. Quentin Dunbar, do we trade for Callahan? Artie Burns just got released from the Bears. We did cut Mark Gilbert. I got to think kind of like Roche, he's going to be on the practice squad. I don't know what's going to happen with Mallette because he's a veteran. I know you can keep additional players on your practice squad this season, but he's probably not going to be wanting to do practice squad. He's going to be looking elsewhere. Maybe he'll have an actual shot at someone else's 53-man roster. Cornerback was weird. I didn't think we'd keep four, but I do think there's a move coming up. I hope so, at least. I hope so. Jimmy Moreland's probably my top ranking of the cornerbacks that I named. Maybe I'll do another video on that. Safety. Not surprised. Trey Norwood, Killebrew, those are just the backup safety. That's how they were listed through the whole preseason. We didn't have any other guys at those positions. A little concerned about Norwood. I don't know. His frame might be too small. I've seen too many plays given up this preseason by him. Some say he could play the slot. Maybe he's considered our fifth cornerback right now. But So I'm still hoping we make a move at cornerback in the near future here. And then the last one, uh, running backs, keeping Benny Snow. I guess it goes back to inside linebacker. We just decided to keep a sixth one. And for running back, we decided to keep Benny Snow as our fourth. I don't know if it's for a trade potentially but we'll see i mean benny snow solid i just didn't think he was as good as Kalen Bellage or anthony mcfarland this whole preseason it would have been a different story if we would have got to see him play and compete with them snap in and snap out but that's about it so to me looks pretty solid i don't think much has changed from before we made the cuts till now because I think if we keep like arthur mallett I think we're still looking for that extra cornerback, whether it's the Callahan trade, whether it's Jimmy Moreland, or any of those other dudes that were cut. Offensive line, I'm thinking the same thing. We didn't keep that ninth or 10th guy like BJ Finney or whatnot. I still think whether they're cut, we're looking for an extra offensive tackle. So I don't think much has changed. I'm liking the roster. I'm amped up about it. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Who should have been cut? Who shouldn't have? That's about it. Hope you enjoyed. Stay chilling. Peace.